Good morning, first graders. Um, today is Wednesday, um, November 18th, and today on our calendar, we have for morning work, we're going to do lesson number 47 in Simple Solutions, phonics pages 141 and 142, and then pages 20 and 21 in handwriting. All right, so let's get started with our Simple Solutions first. Number one says to circle the word for three. So that would be this one, the th three, remember the th sound. Number two says to write the sum of three plus seven. Three plus seven equals ten. Number three says write an addition sentence for the tigers. So we have one, two, three tigers plus one, two, three, four tigers equals three, three, four, five, six, seven tigers. Number four, this sign says add or equal. That is an equal sign. Number five, what number, or what, I'm sorry, comes between 53 and 55? That would be 54. Number six says to count by five. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Five more would be 30. Five more than that would be 35. Number seven says to write a sentence to go with three plus six equals nine. So we're just going to write the um, fact that goes with that. So we're just going to switch around our six and our three and still get the same answer. So it should be six plus three equals nine. So we just wrote the related fact. Number eight, choose the correct sign. Is 26 less than, greater than, or equal to eight? So 26 is a greater than. So you're going to circle the symbol that looks like it's going to eat the 26. Number nine, does the clock, so does the clock show six o'clock? Yes or no? That would be yes. And number 10 says to write a subtraction sentence for the jack in the box. So we have one, two, three, five, six jack in the boxes, minus two, and six minus two equals four jack in the boxes left. All right, great job. Let's go on to the next thing, which is phonics. And in phonics, we are going to do 141 and 142. All right, so on page 141, it says to listen to each picture name, write the spelling for each sound in a separate box. So we're gonna write the spelling sound, so not the letters of how to spell it, but the sound. So for example, that arrow is pointing to her chin. So we're gonna put the two letters that make the ch sound in the first box. So it's gonna be C-H. And then I N. Okay, same with number two. It's a match. A match is M A. And then T C H make that ch ch sound. So we're going to put those three letters in there. This is a check. So we're going to put C H E and C K. Ch makes one sound, C H. F and C K K makes the K sound. Okay. All right. The bottom part. Um, you can cross it out. We just cross that part out in my class. So in Mrs. Bragg's class, if you guys do something different, you can do that at the bottom, or you can just cross it out. I'm sure it'll be okay. On the back side, though, we're going to write our spelling words. So our spelling words this week are all short U words. So we're going to start with the first word is us. And then we have sun and bus. And then we have fun and bus. Run. 
back at the top on this side, we have jump. And lump. Must. Then bust. And the bonus word this week is the word understand. A U N D E R S T A N D. Understand. All right, to get those spelling words filled in. Remember, if you ever need to pause the video at any time, if I'm going too fast, you can. All right, so I'm going to put phonics to the side. And then in handwriting, we are doing pages 20 and 21. So on page 20, today it's talking about God's seven days of creation. So on day one, you're just going to copy each word. So it says, write what God created on each day. So day one, God created a light. Day two, God created the sky. Day three, God created land, comma, water, comma, and plants. So I'm going to copy it just like they have. Day four, God created sun, moon, and stars. Capital S, U, N, comma, N, A, A, N, T, and stars. Then do the same thing and finish on day five. God created birds and fish, and day six, animals and man. Then on day seven, it says, "What did God do on the seventh day?" Well, hopefully, hopefully you know. If you don't, it's okay. But on the seventh day, God rested. So we're going to put He rested. That's why it's seventh day is Sunday, and that's why we're supposed to rest and keep holy the Sabbath, which means to rest on the seventh day, which is Sunday. So we go to church and we just relax with our families. In the box at the bottom, it says, draw a picture of something God created. So you can draw anything that God created. So any of these things, so water, plants, sun, moon, stars, birds, fish, animals, and man anything in your picture. So I think I might draw maybe the sky, and some clouds, and then and the sun. And now the clouds. Okay, you can draw a few things if you'd like, and then if you want to color it, Maybe use crayons or colored pencils, you can. Okay. Let's draw anything that God created. All right. That is all for our morning work today. We will see you later. Hi, first graders.